LSPM or light source power meter is a testing method to test and certify fiber optic links. In this video, we will use the CertiFiber Pro tester from Fluke to demonstrate, but there are many other testers on the market that are suitable. LSPM is a testing method according the standards to certify fiber optic links with the key focus to test against a fiber loss budget. It is a very fast and precise method for testing link loss. Here, we have all we need to conduct a test. A main and remote tester, test leads with high quality reference connectors, cleaning tools and video microscope. Basically, the LSPM is a simple power meter consisting of a light source and a power meter. Inspection and cleaning is an essential part to all testing procedures. Firstly, the condition and quality of the reference cords must be verified by inspection. In order to check the connector quality of the test reference cords, a microscope must be used. There are different kinds of microscopes on the market. We at R&M strongly recommend the use of video probes. These are 100% safe and can even be used to check the connector quality of active fibers. Make sure that all the required connector tips are available according the connector types being used in the installation. For example, if SC connectors are employed throughout the project, then SC inspection tips are required. For cleaning, the right tools are required as well. There are many different cleaning tools for all circumstances, like connectors, couplers, active device ports, etc. IBC cleaners should be used for patch panels and active components that are not easily removable or accessible, whereas Cleetop and isopropyl towels should be used for connectors and patch cords, etc. Let's see the LSPM tester and test equipment. In order to be able to get valid measurements, the test equipment must be calibrated by an officially certified calibration institute according to the equipment manufacturer's guidelines. It must have clean measuring ports. It should have good battery levels or a direct power supply. And it must be acclimatized to the environment where it will be used. Test reference cords or TRCs are essential equipment for testing as normal patch cords are not suitable for accurate test results because they do not use reference connectors. Multimode testing must employ encircled flux conditioning in the test setup. Whether that is in the tester or the test leads depends on the tester manufacturer. Now, let's see how to make the selections in the tester for the right test setup. Of course, other testers are available and the appropriate manufacturer can provide the methods to do this. Let's start with a new test. On the home screen, tap the test setup panel. On the change test screen, you can select a fiber test to change and then tap edit. Or to set up a new fiber test, tap new test. On the test setup screen, tap the gray panels to change those settings. Fluke recommends using smart remote mode for tests on all dual fiber cabling. Also, for the test type, we have the option of bidirectional tests. Select off and the fibers are tested in only one direction. Select on and the fibers are tested in both directions. In smart remote mode, the tester saves bidirectional results in two records. Each record contains the results for one fiber in both directions. RM always recommends doing bidirectional tests. Next, select a fiber type that is correct for the type you will test. To see a different group of fiber types, tap More. Select the correct test limit for the job. To see a different group of limits, tap More. Then tap the standards body and then the standard you need. To make a custom limit, tap Custom in the limit group list. With this tester, the test limit screens show only the limits that are compatible with the selected fiber type. Next, select the reference method. On this screen, set the number of jumpers you will use in each fiber path when you set the reference. 
The dotted lines in the diagram on the screen show you which parts of the link are included in the test results. The number of jumpers you use has these effects on loss measurements. With the one jumper method, loss measurements include the connections at both ends of the link. With the three jumper method, loss measurements do not include the connections at the end of the link. The tester measures only the loss of the fibre. This setting does not change the loss measurements, but it can change the pass-fail result for test limits that use a calculated loss limit. The tester saves this setting and can be seen with every result. Select the type of connector used in the cabling to be tested, such as SC or LC. The tester also saves this setting to be seen with every result. Selections here won't change any performance limits in the test, they are purely for information. If the correct type is not on the list, just select General. The CertiFiber Pro automatically adjusts the number of connections for the reference method you use. The number of jumpers were set as part of the reference setting earlier. You must just enter the number of splices in each path of the link and hit Done when you are finished. The setup is done. Now let's begin to set the reference. Turn on the tester and remote and let them sit for a minimum of five minutes or at least for as long as they need to attain the ambient temperature. Make sure that the home screen shows the correct settings for the job and the test type is Smart Remote. First, please clean the connectors on the main tester and don't forget to do the same for the remote end. Next, we need to prepare the test reference cords. This is done firstly by inspecting the end face. Only if it is dirty do you need to clean it. Please recheck after cleaning to ensure the end face is truly clear of dirt. Once cleaned, it can be inserted into the main tester. This procedure must then be repeated for all ends of the reference cords before being connected to the main and remote testers. Please note that many manufacturers recommend that you measure the loss of your test reference cords each time you set the reference. Please refer to the manufacturer guidelines to ensure compliance to their test setup methods. On the Set Reference screen, tap Run Wizard. The connections you previously made are shown on the screen step by step after pressing the Next button. The Set Reference screen shows reference connections for the selected one jumper reference method. Tap Set Reference. You can view the reference values recorded. The reference range for multi-mode must be between minus 23.5 dBm to minus 25 dBm, where minus 24 is better than minus 25 dBm. These testers enable us to do two things at the same time. We have now just zeroed the first two test reference cords, each of which will be used in the duplex link that we will be testing. We next need to measure the value of the second test reference cord in each of the links. Again, here we can measure both TRCs at the same time. Disconnect the test reference cords from the input ports on the main and remote units and plug them immediately into two different couplers. Here we are using a duplex coupler and plugging them into the opposite ends of each different coupler. Then, inspect and clean, if necessary, the new test reference cord and plug it into the tester unit and one side of the adapter. This is obviously done twice for the two TRCs we will be testing at the same time. Please be careful not to disconnect the test reference cord from the output of the tester or remote. If you do, you must set the reference again to make sure your measurements are reliable. Tap TRC Verification. The tester measures and saves the loss of the test reference cords you added. The IDs for these results begin with TRC and show the date and time of the test. 
they show an I for information only as a test result. The tester shows a warning if the loss of a TRC is more than their allowable limits. The standards state the limits as 0.1 dB for multi-mode and 0.2 dB for single mode, whereas these Fluke devices state the limits as 0.15 dB for multi-mode and 0.25 dB for single mode. If the tester shows a warning, clean and inspect the connectors on the TRCs, then redo the TRC verification again. On the Set Reference screen, when the Set Reference or TRC verification procedure is completed, tap Next to see how to connect to the link under test. Finally, we come to the live testing of the installed link. The loss budget must be calculated. It is an accumulation of all components within the specific link. This means that all connectors, splices and the entire cable length are included. The specific loss values of the components are added together to give the maximum overall loss. This example shows the values of the standard ISO IEC 14763-3. Before you start the test, inspect and if necessary, clean the connectors in the panel and the free end of the test reference cord. Remember that when testing duplex links, both apertures of the adapter and two reference cords must be inspected. This needs to be done at both ends of the link. Make the connections and ensure that they are securely fitted on both sides of the fibre link. Tap Test on the screen from the main tester or press the test button on the main or remote tester. Halfway through the test, you are told to switch the input and output fibers. A word of caution here, switch the connections on both ends at the patch panel, not at the tester and remote ports. Remember, if you disconnect a test reference cord from an output port on the tester or remote, the reference value will be unreliable and the referencing procedure must be repeated. Please note, the directions main to remote and remote to main in the bidirectional results are only the directions of the optical signals for the second half of the test. If a fibre fails, the direction does not tell you the location of the problem. With these specific testers, if Auto save is on and the tester is in smart remote mode, the tester uses the next two IDs automatically to save the results for the two fibres. For the evaluation process, more in-depth information can be sought from the local test equipment dealer, the manufacturer or manual for the devices. The Linkware PC cable test management software lets you upload test records to a PC organize and examine test results, print professional quality test reports, and do software updates and other maintenance procedures on your tester. Here is an example of some test results. You can see here the test reference cords as the top two results. This overview shows you the cable IDs, measuring data, status on pass fail, fiber length, headroom, that is the loss margin, and the test limit standard and all the information that was selected as part of the referencing and verification. When you click on the Show Limit Budget Calculation button, you can see the calculation used for this link. For RM Freenet warranty applications, only original test results are accepted. In this case, it would be a .flw file. For more information, contact your RM partner and or visit our website rdm.com. Mm -hmm.